how to use the idogu app on ios let's launch the idogu app so we have got settings tab where most of the things happen i'm going to show you the most important part here let's scroll down we're going to go to browse section here this one browse section and tap on source list this is the first thing that you're going to do here on this app if you have your own source extension repositories tap on plus and add the extension repository url to add the source lists it's always encouraged to add your own extension repos or sources but if you don't have your own sources i'm going to show you a demonstration by adding external sources here let's go back to home screen launch safari and you're just going to do a google search for idoku otaku idoku otaku scroll down here we're going to find the link from otaku this one here ios apps extension repos and guides if you scroll down, you'll find idoku right here. It gives the name of extension repositories along with the option to auto install here. To add the extension repository, tap on install button here. It will automatically prompt you to open in idoku, tap on open. And the source list has been automatically added. Now once the extension repository has been added, go back. We just want to jump to browse tab directly here. It will lead all the extension inside the added repository. You can explore here and see which extension you like to get or you can also directly go to source box and search for any specific extension. Let me get this one here baro.co. Tap on get. And it's been installed here. Either you can long tap here and pin it and then you can explore this extension by tapping on it. Once you add the extension repositories, all these tabs will make sense now. Library, history, browse, search, etc. You can even search and explore your contents by going to search tab here and search directly for any contents using the keywords. Now the last part of this video is settings. Go to settings tab. We've got a lot of customization settings here. Scroll down, we have got general settings option. Also change the appearance here to dark theme or light as you wish. Scroll down, we have got the manga page settings, manga per row settings and library settings. Also we have got the categories here. You can add different sorts of categories by typing on plus and giving it any title like mystery scroll down and we've also got the customization for reader default reading mode skip duplicate chapters mark duplicate chapters as read etc page settings webtoon settings we've got the backup option here you can manually create a backup tap on plus to create a backup and the backup has been automatically created and you can use this to restore later on also we've got the trackers option here you can enable tracking with any of these options any list my enemy list sikimori etc so that's the brief guide on how you can use the idoku ios app like this video and subscribe to this channel